So now chapter number 23 and title is Advance Ruling. What is advance? What is ruling? Advance is before the taxable event takes place. Advances before. Now, if you propose to carry out a business of supply of some services, right? And you have a reason for doubt because something similar is mentioned in the exemption list also. So whether tax will be there or not, because the taxation is going to affect your business to a large extent. Market is very sensitive about the price, isn't it? So you are not very sure that whether tax will be there or not because something similar or very close to the ident uh, proposed business is also there in the exemption list and you want a clarity you want a clarity on that right now what to do, what to do with the for, for getting the clarity go to the friend and check the friend is equally confused he will give you his opinion even without understanding. And what is the validity of his opinion before the law? Zero. So why not to have the opinion from the government authority which is having the binding effect? Rather than going to a friend or any other person, why not to approach the proper authority who can give you what will be the applicability of the taxes in your case in future? And whatever he says, that will bind officers also. Right. So this is not a decision because decision comes when there is a dispute and the reason for dispute is the taxable event and taxable event has not taken place. So that's why this is not a dispute. Right. So ruling is, this is, And this answer is being given by authority. And this authority is having binding effect so this option is better or going to the friend is better isn't it so advanced ruling why that why the title comes advanced ruling advanced because this is before the taxable event takes place Right. What is taxable event for GST? Supply. Because once the supply is done, the taxable event is already taken place. Now it is the adjudicating authority who will decide whether the tax is there or not. After the transaction has already been done, authority cannot do for the advance ruling. Not the officer who will decide how much amount of tax is payable or not. And if you don't like his decision, go for appeal. 
so why it is advanced because this is before the taxable event takes place and since the taxable event has not taken place the question of any tax does not arise and if the question is not there the dispute is not there if the dispute is not there appeal is not there if the appeal is not there decision is not there so that's why we don't don't call it a decision this is a ruling right so ruling is given for a confusion right i give you example that tomorrow you want to start a supply service and some service which is either same or similar is already there in the exemption list but some differences so now you want a clarity whether that will also be exempt or that will be taxable who will answer that let us go to the proper authority there is a confusion who will answer that authority what is the impact of the authority whatever authority says that is going to be binding on the officer also so this is not a decision this is just an answer for the explanation for the confusion that's why it is called as advance ruling right but this confusion should necessarily affecting the tax affecting tax liability i cannot find advance ruling on the questions that i want to keep the record in physical format can i do that by doing that my tax liability is not affected in any way right so the confusion should necessarily relate to the subject by which the tax liability is directly affected so what is that is affecting the tax liability valuation exemption classification rate of tax right so unless there is a confusion in relation to the subject by which the tax liability is going to be affected in future the concept of advance ruling is not there 